shortly after the academic procession has entered the venue, which will be followed by a recitation from the Holy Quran, the national anthem, vice chancellor's welcome speech, distribution of degree scrolls to graduating students, and award of medals to academic high achievers. The chief guest of today's ceremony is Mr. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, Foreign Minister of Pakistan, who will be addressing this gathering at the end. The guests of honor of today's ceremony are Mr. Sayyid Murad Ali Shah, Chief Minister Sin, and Mr. Mohammad Ismail Rahul, Minister for Universities and Boards, Environment, Climate Change, and Coastal Development, Government of Sin. All distinguished guests are kindly requested to take their seats and to remain seated for the entire duration of the ceremony until the academic procession has departed the venue. The chief guest of today's ceremony will be joining the academic procession shortly, so you are kindly requested to take your seats and to remain seated for the entire duration of the ceremony.
small ways in the areas of support the students to achieve more in their projects. And the other thing, my final project is my community project, spreading the news to the DSU as well as the for teaching and domain projects. I would highly recommend DSU for anyone who is considering a career in the natural journey. Ladies and gentlemen, the convocation procession is entering the venue.
souls are BBA and MBA graduates. In blue souls are mechanical engineering graduates. In green souls are electrical engineering graduates. And alone in purple souls are computer science graduates.
gentlemen, the chief guest of today's ceremony, Mr. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, Foreign Minister of Pakistan, has joined the academic procession. He is accompanied in the convocation procession by the guests of honor of today's ceremony, Mr. Sayyid Murad Ali Shah, Chief Minister Singh, and Mr. Mohammad Smail Rahu, Minister for Universities and Boards, Government of Singh. Also accompanying the chief guest in the academic procession are Administrator DHA Karachi, Premier Rai Asad Mustafa, Pro Vice Chancellor DHA Sofa University, Premier Dr. Ahmad Said Karas, the Deans for Engineering and Applied Sciences, and the Dean for Management and Social Sciences. I will now request Hafiz Mas Fasi to come on the stage and recite verses from the Holy Quran. I also request Alina Ali Khan to come on stage for translation.
ہے جس رات بھی اچھے سفر یونیورسٹی نو ریکویسٹ آپ سمجھ میں چیف جسٹ مسٹر بلاول بھٹو سرکاری فورن منسٹر آف پاکستان ٹو بریک دی کمیونیکیشن اوپن
uh, or studying or catch option in, in academic disciplines whose graduates are in high demand nationally as well as across the globe. The university sustained perpetual losses since its inception except for one year but has now turned around and makes sustainable since last two years. We are striving hard to make PSU a university of choice and get respectable place in the ranking among the top universities of the country with global recognition. PSU's new initiatives include operationalization of a temp second campus at DHSC Karachi, which was inaugurated in the year 2020 with the launch of DSU undergraduate bachelor in training civil program at the DC, DC campus. Computer science is also offered at this campus. Out of 30 majors and research in the master plan of DHS and Subhar University in DHS City Karachi campus, the civil engineering law is ready and fully operationalized. The newly built civil engineering labs are state of the art and the location of the university DCK campus is in, is in the vicinity of DHS ongoing projects, provides civil engineering students the opportunity to have regular study visits to leave construction sites. The University of DCK campus shall have be a completely residential campus with full amenities. Presently, Boyle Hostel comprises of two floors in a shared building in DCK South and the facility for girls needs to be provided. Therefore, adequate hostel facilities needed both for boys and girls for safe boarding and lodging to the living students. The inauguration of the DHS Super University Second Campus at DHS City, Karachi, would not have been possible without the kind support extended by our Chancellor. For the first time, DHS has been ranked by the Times Higher Education Impact Ranking of International Universities and can be ranked as well. With a view to look after the mental well being of students, DHS Super University has recently started at on campus. Counseling Center by the name of Umidi Shahab, where professional psychologist is available to extend the guidance to students and DSU staff on mental health and stress related issues. DSU recently established a center for entrepreneurship and innovation development by the name of Agas, which serves as a technology incubator and provides startups a forum to engage in new and entrepreneurial ventures. In the efforts of this sector, many students' projects have been successful in securing funding and are well on their way towards becoming marketable products and services. Recently, one of our, of our startup firm, Farm Town, was able to raise 1.3 million US dollars. DSU students have been competing internationally and achieving laurels for the university, which is indeed a reflection of the high standard of teaching and quality of education. In the recent past, EU prestigious investments from the scholarship of fully funded master studies in Europe was secured by a final year electrical Indian student at EHS Super University. In the same year, two PBA students of ESU were selected for the prestigious global new grad semester program of the United States Education Foundation of Pakistan to study and exchange semester at the University in the United States. All our graduating batches of engineering and computer science as of today have been accredited, accredited by the Pakistan Engineering Council as well as the NCFC districts respectively. We are close to acquiring an, an EAC accreditation for our business and management program by December this year. We are following OPE based learning system and have revitalized our office of research, innovation and commercialization. ERP is under implementation, which will be of greater value to the help to our students. DSU has partnered with DICE Foundation, ESA, for the development of the first electric vehicle in Pakistan, which was unveiled on 14 August last year. Under the Prime Minister Kamyab Jawan program, DSU trained three batches of over 400 trainings of NEPTEC still still to a training program in emerging fields. DSU has signed MU with over 30 institutions of NEPU, winning an outside country for collaboration, internationalization, which include Rock University in Canada, Eastern Michigan University, USA, Alabama University, Canada, Curtin University, Australia, 
एस आर आई एक्सपी बस यूनिट गड़बड़ी इंटरनेशनल इस्लामिक यूनिवर्सिटी मलेशिया शाहरुख यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी ईरान एंड फतेह सुल्तान मेहमद यूनिवर्सिटी गर्ग फाइनली एज आई एड्रेस द ग्रेजुएट्स ऑफ दिस सेमिनरी और लाइक टू से इच वन व्यू है As well as the ability to succeed above and beyond expectations in your chosen fields and professions, you will confront challenges and at times complete failure in your drive to improve profession. Don't let failure become your commitment. Learn from your mistakes and always be willing to step out of your comfort zone and embrace new opportunity, opportunities for personal and professional growth and come your way. Do not shy away from shouldering responsibility, and do not shy away from accepting uh, challenges out of fear that you will make mistakes. Last but not the least, learn to appreciate, enjoy, and live each moment to the fullest until it becomes a memory of the past. In the end, I would like to express my heartfelt congratulations to the all the graduates and medical uh, medal winners of today's convocation along with along with their families. I am grateful to Chief Guest of today's ceremony, Mr. Bilal Dr. Zardari, for taking time out from his busy schedule to honor us with his presence. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for blessing this occasion with your esteemed presence and for joining the presentation of the family in celebrating this summer month in Pakistan. May Allah be with us. Aslam. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, may I apprise you that in DHS Sufar University's third convocation, a total of 713 graduating students are being awarded with undergraduate and postgraduate degrees. These include 26 MBA, 114 BBA, 133 bachelors of mechanical engineering, 162 bachelors of electrical engineering. And 278 BS Computer Science degree recipients. Most of these graduates are presently gainfully employed at renowned companies, and some of them have gone abroad for postgraduate studies at leading international universities. Honorable Chair, please order. That the field be presented for the award of Master of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business Administration degrees. Let the candidates be presented. I now request the Dean of Commerce to present the candidates of the Academy of Management and Social Sciences for the award of degrees. I present to you the candidates who will be certified after examination to be qualified to receive the degree from Master of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business Administration, to which I pray they be admitted. I welcome you of the authority vested in me. I admit you to the degree of Master of Business Administration and Bachelor of Business Administration, and in token thereof. Present to you this degree and authorize you to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of this degree, and charge you to prove worthy of the same. May I now request the honourable guest of honour, Mr. Mohammad Smail Rahul, Minister for Universities and Boards. Environment, climate change, and coastal development, government of Sindh, to please come forward for the award of degree scrolls to the degree recipients. I also request the honourable Vice Chancellor, Engineer Professor Dr. Mohammad Abzal Haq, to accompany the guest of honour.
starting with the MBA graduates of the graduating batches from spring 2019 to fall 2020, Kanza Seth. Ramsha Seth Alvi. Ali Zijanul Haq Sohail Ahmad Khan Tanvir Ahmad Hadia Musa, Hadia Musa is a BBA degree recipient and now we are going to award degrees to the BBA degree recipients. Hamsa Azam Oto, Hira Altaf. Sara Saleem Sundas Anjum Kuratulem Sonia Malik Aisha Khan Fiza Zain Rida Zainab Tawani Nisha Tahir Sadia Zafar Habiba Kainat Hamna Ahmed Sara Rashid Anusha Nehal Aruba Nasim Tahura Rashid Ishma Akbar Afira Tariq Sayyada Eman Ali Hanan Rehan Kiani Ramsha Rafa Kinza Zafar Sheikh Am 
مولانا فاروقی زمل ماریا کوکر سید فرزان ازر محمد رضوان شاروس احمد عامر علی منیر احمد محمد سلمان اکر سمیر احمد نومان احمد فاروق اعظم ابرو صفان احمد کمل گوہر فاطمہ حسن نشرہ کاشف مریم افتخار مریم آمیر بانگی محمد مدبر مجید محمد جہانگیر خان عبد النافع محمد اسماعیل لیڈیز این جنگمن آئی وڈ لائی تو تھائیم تو آنرابل گیس اف آنر مسٹر محمد اسماعیل راہو فور ڈسٹریوٹنگ ڈیلی سٹورز تو ایک 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 ایک
I present to you this degree and authorize you to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of this degree and charge you to prove worthy of the same. Tadash 
दरवाजे मोहम्मद हमजा कुरैशी शाहरोज अफ्ताब हसन जालेसी नवीस कंप्यूटर साइंस ग्रेजुएट्स फ्रॉम स्प्रिंग 2019 टू फॉल 2020 विल बी कॉल्ड ऑन स्टेज सोहा अंसारी
Arish Ansari.
Daniel Fahmi. Saud Khalil. Sayyid Saad Ahmad. Anas Ali Miyam. Mohamed Ahmad Badi. Abdullah Nasir. Balhar Ali Bhutto. Sanya Nadi. Mirza Ashir Bey. Mohamed Bakar Khan. Mohamed Hamad Siddiqui. Hamad Abdul Wahab. Mohamed Sukhran Khanani. Mohamed Naas Khan. Sabra Khan. Ewan Ehsan. Zimra Khan. Anshoya Raj. Sahir Nizar Ali. Mohamed Sarhan. Mohamed Atif. Jawar Ali Kogan. Abdul Rahman Mirza. Sain Ramzan. Asma Abdul Lati. Pizan Shari. Ahmad Faraz. Ladies and gentlemen, degree sports of graduates who would not attend today's convocation ceremony in person will be received on their behalf by their worthy parents. May I now request them to kindly come on the stage when the name of their son or daughter is announced. Hansala Mahmoud. Mudassir Hussain. Hamza Farooq. Kinza Iram. Sara Sarifa. 
Ladies and gentlemen, mechanical engineering and electrical engineering gold medalists will be receiving two gold medals, one being awarded by the university and the other being conferred by the Institution of Engineers Pakistan. DHS Supar University would like to thank Engineer Sohail Bashir, Chairman IEP and Engineer Farhad Adil, President IEP for honoring the academic achievements of DSU's engineering gold medalists. Starting with the gold medalists from B Mechanical, Hamza Vaseem receives a gold medal from the back of Moving on to the B Electrical Gold Medalists, Temur Memur Me from the B Electrical Badge of Spring 2019 receives a gold for securing a CGPA of 3.88. Erin Ahmed Jalal from the B Electrical Badge of Spring 2020 received a gold medal for securing a CGP of 3.99. Her father is going to receive the gold medal on her behalf. Arsalan Aman from the BS Computer Science Batch of Spring 2019 received a gold. The medal will be received on his behalf by his father. Abdul Rahman Sikandar from the BS Computer Science Batch of Fall 2019 received a gold medal for securing a CGP of 3.82. Starting with the silver medal winners from the Faculty of Management and Social Sciences. Pizza Zen. From the Matthew Bell of Spring 2019, this being awarded a silver medal for securing a CGPA of 3.68. Afira Tariq from the BPA Bank of Fall 2020 is being awarded a silver medal for securing a CGPA of 3.68. Sarah Sami Khan from the BE Electrical, a graduate of Spring 2020, is being awarded a silver medal for securing a CGPA of 3.96. Her father will be receiving a medal on her behalf. Daniel Papi from the BS Computer Science Graduate Bank of Spring 2019 is being awarded a silver medal for securing a CGP of 3.5. Mohammad Omar Sheikh from the BS Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank our chief guest for distributing gold and silver medals to the meritorious graduates. This brings us to the end of the award of medals to academic high achievers. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite our chief guest of today's ceremony, Mr. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, Foreign Minister of Pakistan, to come on the rostrum and deliver his speech.
Mr. Lal Rahman Al Ameen, Honorable Chief Minister of Sindh, Sayyid Murad Ali Shah Sahab, Minister of Universities and Boards, Mr. Ismail Ram Sahab, Vice Chancellor, DHA Safi University, uh, Administrator DHA Karachi, dis uh, dignitaries, distinguished guests, faculty, degree recipients, and most important of all, your proud parents. Assalamu alaikum. It is, indeed, it is indeed a pleasure and a privilege to be here today at the third convocation ceremony of DHA Safa University to honor the academic achievements of its graduates. The graduates, to the graduates, I say that you should be very proud of what you have achieved. Graduation is a huge milestone, but it is also a start of a journey. It is the passage into adulthood where you become responsible for the decisions that you take. The decisions you will take will not only define your lives, but also the destiny of Pakistan. I remember today one of the last words my grandfather, Shahid Zulfikar Bhutto, wrote to my mother, Shahid Motrama Benji Bhutto, from his death cell. He said, every generation had a central concern whether to end war, erase racial injustice, or improve the conditions of working people. Today's youth demand a government that speaks directly and honestly to its citizens. I am also reminded of the words of Shri Madhama Bhattu in June 1998, when she said, a new generation has been born, a generation whose outlook has been shaped by global trends and influenced by the revolution brought by the global information breakthroughs. Let us keep pace with this generation. This is a generation which demands merit, efficiency, and transparency. A generation ready to compete with the rest of the world. A generation rejecting paternalistic forms of government. A generation demanding equal participation in decision making. You are the youth of today and you demand and deserve a government that speaks directly and honestly to you. The challenges today are serious. Rising inflation, deepening, deepening economic crises, rising income inequality, polarization and divisiveness in society, being a few of the most significant ones. We have a choice. We can be intimidated by these challenges or we can be inspired to overcome them. The youth of Pakistan have never been intimidated by challenges and inshallah we will overcome. Fear is not an option. Failure is not an option. We will succeed inshallah. Of the many crises we confront, the most dangerous is the attempt to sow hatred amongst us. Toxic polarization, incitement to violence, demagoguery designed to distract us from the real work that needs to be done. Done by us together and done by you, being the frontliners in leadership roles, in charge of your destinies and the destiny of this country. We have always rejected the politics of hate and preferred the politics of reconciliation and the welfare of the people. I am not interested in attacking people or provoking people to attack others, but to create policies that, student, that generate more opportunity for, every, for everybody, for the students, workers, laborers, farmers, women, policies that strengthen the middle class and give more people the chance to climb up, create more good jobs and reduce poverty and educate more children and give more families the security of health care and protection from crime. I don't want our politics to revolve around fighting, fighting personalities, parties or institutions. Our politics should be about fighting poverty, inflation, unemployment and despondency. We need to compete 
with the world. And the world today is a world of artificial intelligence, digital technology, and cutting edge research. We need to create a modern, inclusive, and democratic Pakistan. That is a, this is a responsibility that all of us have. The responsibility to create a Pakistan that belongs to everyone and not just the few. The best investment that we can make is on you, the young people. You with the hope. You are not only the future, but you are also the present. There are people who wish to mislead, who want to sell anger, hopelessness, and violence. Reject them. They wish you and this country ill. There is work to be done. Your destiny is progress. Your destiny is prosperity. Your destiny is empowerment. Civility has to prevail over brutality. Reason and knowledge, reason and knowledge must prevail over ignorance. Brotherhood has to prevail over division. The Pakistan People's Party has never lost hope, has never lost faith. Faith in Allah the Almighty, faith in Pakistan, faith in peace, faith in democracy, and faith in the power of young people. You will now have to decide that, that you will now have to decide the values that will guide your life. Let those values be mutual respect, patriotism, integrity, tolerance, and excellence. Stability has to be has to precede prosperity and growth. Stability demands unity, and that we be Democrats and reject hate, terrorism, and, polit and political and ethnic prejudice. You will enter the job market soon, and my priority is to create a job market for you which does justice to your huge talents and rewards and rewards your hard work. A job market where you don't merely survive but thrive, where your generations rise to the top and become CEOs, successful entrepreneurs, academics, and researchers. Your possibilities not limiting your horizons broad. You will become the face of Pakistan, of a unified Pakistan, of a Pakistan for all. The youth today is equipped with the knowledge of the world, of science, of humanities, and knowledge triumphs over evil. Demagogues have attempted to mis mislead the youth. However, they have failed, as they always have done since our youth is too intelligent, and too intelligent to fall in that trap. Politics of this country belongs to the youth. 65% of our population are between the ages of 18 and 35. It is time that we take charge of our destiny. It's time that younger generations take charge of their, of their destiny. It's time that the torch of leadership is passed on to younger generations. It's time that we decide not only our fate, but the fate of our country. Because you and I will have to live with the consequences of the decisions of those in government take. So better than relying on others, it's better that you and I take charge of our own destiny. It's the politics of Kaidi Azam, Kaidi the politics is based on federalism, democracy, constitutionalism, protection, rule of law, equality and emancipation of the people from backwardness and poverty. This we have always shunned violence even in the face of the worst repression. Democracy and remaining peaceful are the basic norms of any civilized society. Together we are going to create a Pakistan where everybody is equal and has the opportunity to find a decent job and access to quality education and health care. We are going to defeat inflation and unemployment. We can only do so together. We have to be each other's partners, brothers and sisters. All of us need to be united for a prosperous Pakistan. We have to leave behind the old ways that divide us and create new ways that unite us. My promise to you is that we will do everything possible to give people with your talent your abilities and skills, the opportunities 
and the support they deserve. Good luck. May you achieve great things in life. Inshallah. Inshallah, we achieve great things together. Amsatka Pakistan. Amsatka Pakistan. Thank you very much, Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, Foreign Minister of Pakistan. May I request the Vice Chancellor, Engineer Professor, Dr. Mohammad Abdullah, to present a memento to our Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari. May I now request Vice Chancellor DHS Sufa University, Engineer Professor Dr. Muhammad Azal Haq to present the memento to Chief Minister Singh, Mr. Sayyid Murad Ali Shah. May I now request Vice Chancellor DHS Sufa University kindly present the memento to Mr. Mohammad Smail Rahu, Minister for Universities and Boards, Climate Change and Environment Protection Government of Singh.
का ले लेते हैं हमने बोल दिया चली गई है बात May I request the audience to kindly remain seated until the academic procession has completely departed. Thank you. 